Hey, hello guys, Gorod Radio Moscow again with a sort of beer mail video for you this time. Now, in a few of my recent videos, I'd said that we were going to do something special for Scottish beer. So, if you take a little look down here, you'll see I've stockpiled about, I think it's 30 or so different kinds of Scottish beer. The, these beers are all from different breweries, so the plan for the channel over the next month or so is that every day I'll add a review from this kind of stockpile so you'll get a different beer from a different Scottish brewery every day for the next 30 days or so roughly. There may be one more addition to this, we'll see if it arrives, but this is basically the beers that you will see appearing over the next month or so, so we'll go through these quickly. Um, so over here we have the Highland Brewery which is from, uh, from, from the Orkney Isles up in the north of Scotland which is the Orkney Porter, meant to be a very very nice beer, I've reviewed a couple of those for you already. This is a new brewery that I've never done anything from, this is Barney's Beer who are from Edinburgh, this is the Volcano IPA. This guy comes to you from Lossy Mouth. This is a new one from the Windswept Brewing Company, a new brewery that I rate very, very highly, and this is an Amarillo IPA. You'll probably, most of you have wa watching in the different countries around the world will recognise this brewery, very famous for Cascade and a lot of their beers, and this one is the Scottish Pale Ale. Now, these next two are my two local breweries here in Clipmanninshire in Scotland. So, from Harveston, we have the new Amber Ale, which is called Broken Dial. I've tried that on tap before, very, very nice beer. Uh, the other one is from the Williams Brothers Brewery in Aloha, and this is the Profanity Stout. Again, it meant to be a very nice beer. Never tried it before. Well, for the next one, we are at Brewdog in Aberdeen, which you'll no doubt have heard of. This guy is apparently meant to be a beautiful stout. This is one of the original beers that they released, one of their original from their core range. Now, this one is Brewmeister, who, of course, had the 67.5% beer at one stage. These guys are from Keith up in Aberdeenshire. This is the Tap Out Brewery, which is the Dark Abbey. These guys like to brew a Belgian style of beer, meant to be very, very cool. This is another sort of Aberdeenshire based brewery. These guys like to brew Belgian style beer too, six degrees north from Stonehaven just to the south of the city of Aberdeen. This one is a beer that is specially brewed in St Andrews in Fife, of course, the home of golf. This is the Eden Brewery, the 19th hole. Meant to be a very, very nice one, actually. So that's your 330 bottles. We'll move on to the half litre ones now. So from Edinburgh, we have Stuart Brewing Company, this is a sort of pale ale, this guy is called Holyrood, of course, named after the Scottish Parliament. The next one is Isla, of course, quite famous for its whiskies, uh, but this is the, uh, the Isla Brewery, which I believe is very, very close. This is the Saligo Ale, again, meant to be a very, very nice beer. Next one is the Isle of Arran. They only have one distillery on the island, but again, meant to be some very, very nice whiskey. And this is, I've reviewed one of these beers before. Very, very nice brewery again. You've seen me review a couple of these already. This is Fine Ales, who are from Argyle and Butte over on the west coast. These guys kind of specialise both in IPAs and bitters, so very, very nice brewery. They have their own estate and everything like that. Um, the next one is a very, very kind of special one. This is from Broughton Ales, who are from Bigger in Scotland. This is the very, very first craft beer that ever appeared in Scotland, the Green McMantle Ale. So this will be the first one that you will get to see in this series of beer reviews. The next one here is Cromarty, who are from the Black Isle. The young guy who owns this is a graduate of Heriot Watt in Edinburgh. And this is a very, very, very really upcoming brewery. Brewdog really support these guys and really beautiful beers coming out of these ones. This next one here, it comes to you from Shetland, so this will be my first uh, Shetland beer review actually. And this guy, this, as you know, Shetland has uh, a lot of kind of Viking and Norse history, so this is the Valhalla Brewery. And it's actually quite hard to get a hold of these, so I'm quite glad that we managed to get this one. So this one is the Loch Lomond Brewery, which is over kind of towards Glasgow, and this one is the West Hi the West Highland Way, and it's an original ale. I've not I've no idea really what this one's like, so this one will be an interesting review. So Dragon Head is a stout which comes to you from the Orkney Brewery, of course, one of the sets of islands to the north of the country. You've seen me review a few of these beers before, and overall a very very good brewery. So this next one is the Inveramen Brewery. This comes to you from Perth, and this is Leah Fail, which is meant to be a kind of really kind of dark and rich ale. Apparently it's very very good so this is another one that I look forward to reviewing for you and the other ones I've reviewed from these guys I've been very impressed with. So on the second row of the uh of the 500 milliliter bottles here we have the River Leven Blonde Ale. This one is brewed in Kinloch Leven, just up on the way between Glasgow and Inverness. Never heard of these guys before, so they'll be another interesting one to review. This is the Loch Ness Brewery. These guys have a small hotel brewed on a very, very small scale. All their beers are called like lightness, hoppiness, this kind of thing. So this should be another good one. This is another beer from the Black Isle. You saw Cromarty earlier on, but this is the second brewery on the Black Isle, the Heather Honey Beer. Very special 
area, the Black Isles are a very, very special place for malts and they source all their malts locally and these guys brew organic style beer as well, so very, very cool. This is the Hebridean Brewing Company. The Klansman one, this is meant to be another really nice one. I don't know too much about these guys, so it should be another interesting review for you. Um, the next one along here is Spey Valley Brewery, the Stillman's IPA. These guys come from Keith again, like Brewmeister that you saw earlier. Never heard of these guys either, so it will be a learning curve on this one. This one is from the Isle of Skye Brewing Company, very, very beautiful part of the country. Again, I've never tried any of their beers before, so this will be another interesting one for us to try. Um, this one along here is the Deeside uh, Brewery, who are kind of, very recently they've started ramping up their levels of production and stuff. They donated their beer to the channel, so a big thank you to them for that. And their other beers have been very nice, but this time we're doing the first dark beer from these guys. So, the final row of the... Uh, of the 500 milliliter ones. This is the Strathaven Ale, where my friends are from, and this is their Amber Ale, meant to be very, very nice again. This next one along here is from Castle Douglas, the Galloway Gold from Sulworth Brewery. I've been to visit these guys and they were closed, so I was disappointed about that, but we'll get this beer reviewed for you anyway. The next one is the Isle of Mull Brewing Company, from a way over on the west coast of Scotland. This is meant to be their best beer, so we'll see how we get on with this. Uh, Alchemy Brewery, these guys are from Livingston, just near Edinburgh. Again, meant to be a very, very nice beer, and a lot of these beers, these guys have really been ramping up the production recently as well, so they're meant to be very, very good. This is another brewery who are probably one of the bigger ones in Scotland, actually, the Cairngorm Brewery, the only brewery in Scotland based in a national park, and a lot of their beers are, are very nice, so hopefully the Black Gold, the Scottish Stout, will be a really nice one. So the final two for you here, this is the Kelburn Brewery, the Tartan, Tartan Army. These guys, I think, are from Coat Bridge in Glasgow, and this beer, of course, is named after the, the sort of Scottish football support, very, very famous kind of across the world for being very friendly people. And the final beer from uh, for this series at the moment is from the De Bruce Brewery, who are from Fife, and this is the Declaration 90 Shilling, a very traditional uh, Scottish style of beer that is uh, one of the very oldest styles that is actually, I think this is the oldest style of beer out of all the ones that I've showed you here. So that's your kind of walkthrough of all of the beers that you'll be getting in the uh, in this sort of month of Scottish beers. There may be one addition from the Speyside Craft Brewery if Seb sends me that, hopefully he does. Um, but thanks for watching this beer review, I hope you'll enjoy my sort of introduction to Scottish beer for you over the next little while. Hopefully you'll learn something from it. I thank you to Jonathan in this one for filming it for me and uh, I hope you enjoy this series of beer reviews and I'll catch you soon when we start these. Cheers!